Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So the cards that came out for the overall energy for this reading today is Defensive, Closed Off, Twin Flame, Side Chick in the Reversed, and Refocus. So what I'm gathering from these cards is that this person right now sees you as very guarded. They feel like you're defensive, but I'm getting that at one point you are very honest and open about your feelings with them. But once you saw their true colors and once their masks started falling off, you shut down your feelings and emotions for them and you became closed off. For some of you, you told this person that they were your twin flame or your soulmate and they laughed it off. But you knew that this connection was more than ordinary because in past relationships, you were able to cut ties and walk away with no qualms or without second guessing your decision. But when it came to this person, it was different. It's like they had a hold on you. And for some of you, you knew deep down inside that this connection was toxic and you tried your darndest to make it work, but it was like putting a circle into a square. This was a very difficult and challenging relationship, which also became very traumatic when you guys broke up. And even though you tried to move on, there was always a pull towards them. You couldn't stop thinking about them and they just consumed your mind. You're wondering what they're doing, wondering if they're with anyone else, and just wondering if they're truly happy. But it was hard for you to get over them and even harder for them to get out of your system. And for some of you, you still can't let go. So as you can see, the reason why they're still in your energy is because you guys are twin flames. So needless to say, you broke up because of a third party interference, especially with the side chick being in the reversed. But clearly that relationship didn't last. And now your person is trying to reevaluate things by taking a step back and looking at all the horrible decisions they made regarding you. So now they're wanting to refocus their attention back on this relationship and work things out with you. So that's the story that I'm getting from those cards. So let's go deeper and clarify them. Clarify defensive. You have the higher font. So this card has been coming up in a lot of my readings. With the defensive and closed off card coming out, this is also telling me that your person was defensive and closed off with you. And it was due to your spiritual beliefs. It was due to your morals, your standards, and your values. It was due to who you stood for and what you stood for. And it was also due to you not tolerating bullshit. With the higher font card and the twin flame card coming out, this was a spiritual connection. And both of you were defensive against each other. This was definitely a push-pull relationship. Your person was battling their spirituality, whereas you were all about your faith. You were all about God. And they weren't. So you guys clashed when it came to your faith. The Hierophant is in number five. And fives are all about change. And this person was refusing to change. And they were refusing to go on the spiritual journey with you. On this higher font card, there are three people and there's also two keys on here. So this is telling me that your person had a choice between you and someone else and they couldn't decide on who they wanted to be with. This person could have had a key to your place and they also had a key to someone else's place, but they were definitely playing around and that's why they were being defensive and closed off with you. And for some of you, they could have been married as well. But there was a commitment here. And if it wasn't with you, it was with someone else. You also have the Three of Cups. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I told you there's a third party situation. Your person was playing the field and that's why they couldn't commit. You also have the Two of Cups and the Sun. So with the Hierophant and the Two of Cups, Spirit was telling this person that you are the one. Spirit was telling this person that you're their twin flame or soulmate. But they refused to listen. And it's because they weren't done with their parting ways. They should have given you this two of cups. But instead of following their true path, they gave this two of cups to this third party. With the three of cups and the two of cups, that equals the five of cups. This is telling me that this person is regretting their actions. They could also be an alcoholic. This person is drinking a lot. They're suffering in silence. They're disappointed in what they did. They're ashamed. They're mourning the loss of you. They're also depressed. 
And the Five of Cups could also symbolize moving away from the past. And it looks like that's what this person is doing. Because with the Hierophant being a number five, and with the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups being a number five, tens are all about a completion and an ending of a cycle. And for confirmation, this sun is a number 19, which breaks down into a 10. And with the sun being here, it's telling me that they are going through an awakening. It's all about clarity and illumination. And that's why with the refocus card, they're refocusing their attention back on you because they have gained clarity on what you are, who you are, and what this connection is really about. And now they're seeing you as the two of cups. Clarify closed off. You have the Ace of Wands. So you were very passionate about this person. You were very selfless. You showed and gave them unconditional love. But they were closed off. And the reason they were closed off is because the Ace of Wands is the dick card in tarot. They were dipping it and doing it elsewhere. And with the Ace of Wands, it's telling me that they're getting ready to take action because they want a new beginning with you. What's Twin Flame? You have the high priestess so this is telling me that you were of the light and this person was of the dark that's why your first card was the hierophant because they were fighting their spirituality this person had a lot of demons they had a lot of dark attachments for some of you they could have came across like they were spiritual but as time went on you saw the truth they couldn't hide it any longer with the high priestess you started to see right through their bullshit but with this high priestess clarifying twin flame, this person knew that you were their soulmate. The high priestess is the divine feminine. Your person knew that you were their divine counterpart, but they withdrew from the connection because they were keeping secrets. And with you being the divine feminine, your intuition was speaking to you. And some of you are tarot readers, psychics, empaths, clairvoyant, clairaudient, but you're no dummy. Even though for some of you, you didn't quite know what was going on, but you knew what was going on, if that makes sense. And I feel like over time, you became very mysterious. You pulled back your energy and you started to watch this person. And for some of you, your dreams became very significant in finding out what this person was doing behind your back. Because as the high priestess, you get a lot of visions. Your next cards are the nine of pentacles and the devil. So not only was your intuition telling you to walk away from this connection because your person was toxic, but once you let go, and once you have moved on, you are now reaping the rewards for your hard work. The seeds that you have sown are coming into fruition. This person was also after your money. They were very materialistic. When you were with this person, your money was stagnant. Things weren't moving and there just wasn't any progression. And it was like there was always something unexpected that would happen. Something significant would always happen regarding your finances, such as a major car repair, a major house repair, or maybe even an unexpected bill. But it was like they were draining you and bringing you down. They could have also drained your finances. This person could have also stolen from you. You could have been into business with this person and it went belly up because they were squandering money. They also had a lot of addictions that you didn't know about. But all in all, they were jealous of you and your abundance. This person got with you because you were successful. And they got with you because of what you could do for them. This connection didn't start off as love. Especially with this devil being here. This was a sex-based connection in the beginning. I'm seeing a lot of lust. They could have also tried to make you fall into their addictions as well. And for some of you, you did. But I feel like with the sun, you awakened. You started to see this person for who they really were. You saw that your life was going in the wrong direction. And you started to see that you weren't as abundant as you used to be before you got with this person. So a lot of things started to come into perspective, especially with this high priestess and the Hierophant. And you started to reel it back and do some serious introspection on yourself. And you started to see that they were no good for you with the Seven of Swords. This person was sneaky as fuck. And that's why you had to make a head over heart decision and cut them off with the King of Swords. But this was a lesson for the both of you. What side chick in the reversed? You have the Ace of Swords and you have the Death card. So it's no other way to put it. That third party situation is over with. Your person has released that third party. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. They cut them off. And now they're wanting to come in to speak their truth. 
They're wanting to give you clarity on what really happened. What's refocus? You have the Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands, Judgment, and the Eight of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Cups, they walked away from that third party. And they're coming in to tell you that with judgment. They're also coming in to tell you that they want a second chance. And they want a commitment with the Four of Wands. And they are ready to work on this partnership with the Eight of Pentacles. So like I said in the beginning, they are refocusing their attention back on you because with the sun, they're awakening to what this connection is. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the six of swords. So they're moving on to karma waters. This person is transitioning. And this is also telling me that they are healing. So these are your messages for today. I'm going to leave it here. Let's take this into the extended reading and do a part two. I'm going to see, have they really moved on from their toxic ways? I'm going to clarify the devil and the eight of cups. I'm also going to be clarifying the high priestess. Are they hiding anything else from you? We're also going to see why are they coming back this time? And do they really want the four of wands with you? And then we'll get some messages from them to see what they're wanting to tell you. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.